does Miloš Zeman have any suggestions? So number two, oh, we are giving the floor to Karel Schwarzenberg. We are going to give you a different microphone. And we promise that we won't give him this device. First of all, I should probably tell you why I'm here. Uh, the reason is simple. Usually when you are a member of a party you and you're a leader of a party, you can expect to be nominated. I also think, think that I have the best qualifications. For dozens of years, I've been engaged in both foreign and national policy. Uh, as a minister of the foreign affairs and at other different posts and since the 70s or the 80s i was also active uh, within human rights i have also worked as a chancellor to president uh, vaslav havel and therefore i have a close uh, experience of what it entails to be a president because to be a president is a job uh, is a craft like anything else I think that 80% is the craft and the rest is your talent is your your feeling for the position but I must say that thanks to Václav Havel I have learned the craft what is my vision Frankly, my vision for the Czech Republic is that finally we are going to become a normal country, that we are not going to be outsiders, that we are not going to be different from other European countries, and that we are going to behave as members of the European Union. Again, I have heard the strong division we on one hand and the European Union on the other, but I would like to stress that we are the European Union. We are the members of the European Union and therefore what we should say and what we do say is that we are the European Union, it's we. We cannot stand in the background. We need to play an active role and therefore to gain uh, opportunity to influence the key matters. We cannot be placed in the corner, we cannot stay in the corner. For us it is very important to gain influence, the same influence as for example Luxembourg or Belgium, countries of the uh, same size. It is uh, within our reach, but first we need to change the way we behave towards our European allies. We also need to encourage the rule of law. That's something which is uh, still uh, failing a little bit. If we reflect upon the judicial and other processes, how lengthy everything is and uh, how rigid the public administration is, it's, it can not be called the rule of law and we really need to catch up with uh, the foreign countries in this re respect. We need to safeguard the rights of the individual towards the state. As regards our behavior internationally, we need to regain the respect our republic enjoyed enjoyed 20 years ago when we reappeared on the international scene and the respect I think our republic deserves. Now, what my program is. In my opinion, it is pressing that the president plays a role, the original role designated to the president to unite the nation. I think that people already feel hatred 
towards politicians, towards uh, one another. So what I want to do is to build bridges. I'm going to invite politicians from all the parties to debate divisive topics or controversial topics, to discuss them behind closed doors. I would like to give them the opportunity to meet uh, with me at the Prague Castle to meet with experts and to facilitate opportunities for debates and for debating uh, issues. I think that our first Czechoslovakian president, uh, Tomáš Garak Masaryk, was right when he said that democracy is mainly about debate and discussion. And that also applies uh, to appointing uh, constitutional court judges or the members of the board of the Czech National Bank. Here also I would like to uh, consult with experts. In my opinion, that's what's uh, important. Now, what has inspired me, definitely uh, my parents, uh, their opinions and attitudes during the Second World War, and later when we had lost everything, we were forced from the Czech Republic. We ended up in Austria with only three suitcases, and that was all. So them. Uh, in, they inspired me, and they, uh, thanks to their upbringing, I am who I am today. A great source of inspiration to me was Václav Havel, as I believe to many others, and also Tomáš Garek Masaryk, and uh, his ability to stand behind his idea and to safeguard truth, sometimes even against the majority. And sometimes I also consider my uh, inspiration, Charles de Gaulle, uh, when France was defeated and everyone was in despair, he went to London and he decided to take up the banner of France, the French standard, and to return to Paris victorious. So uh -oh, that's been all for me. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Uh, please don't leave yet. Can you please show us the pictures that we prepared? Thank you, Mr. Karl Schwarzenberg. Let, let, let's keep the picture here. When I saw the presentation in the afternoon, and I was wondering, what, what are you trying to tell by this? Here, here you can see the Terminator and the Predator. And in the middle, there is Karl Schwarzenberg with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, who do you identify with? I, I identify myself with Karol Schwarzenberg, who always uh, likes to watch these movies. All right, now we are going to show you something to, to like, to be amused with. Uh, you named a few people who inspire you. Is this guy among them? My colleague would like to know if, uh, uh, besides Václav Pavel and Tomáš Garek Masaryk and the Predator, uh, this gentleman is your inspiration as well. This gentleman is my inspiration, but he is also a great challenge because he is an extraordinary intelligent man with many uh, positive and negative features, like being hot-tempered and so on. And sometimes it's difficult to uh, collaborate with him, so it is a great challenge, but I must say that I have always liked it. Can you please show us uh, more gestures that you have learned from him? Some kind of an inspirative gesture. When we met, I was already an old man, so I am used to uh, using my own gestures. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Karol Schwarzenberg. All right.